Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's do a Lenamar reading. The question is, what's the physical appearance of your future partner, soulmate, husband? You can choose um, whomever you want to ask about. Yeah. So I have five decks, number one, two, three, four, and five. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of that person, that future person, and choose a deck. And take your time, please. So have you chosen? Let's start then with the deck number one. Okay, this is deck number one, Rana George's Lenamar deck. So I love this deck. Shiny. Okay. So, what's the physical appearance of your future soulmate, husband or partner? So, Okay, so we see this man here. I think, first of all, this man is very uh, kind of, you know, um, very pretty, very pretty, yeah. Like wearing a suit, maybe he will wear a suit as well, like a formal, but kind of looking nice, you know. And um, I feel like he's going to be pretty sporty, athletic athletic type uh, this is the first impression basically what I'm talking about right now he's gonna be very friendly looking very approachable very nice very polite very attractive even especially like perfect figure like not too fat not too slim not too tall not too short just like perfect average and um, <clears throat> an overall feel is very nice like um like a friendly guy, you know, no negative, nothing, no heavy, no heavy emotions, no heavy feel when you're near him. So, um, I feel now this guy might be a little tan, like a beach person. They might, uh, you know, like the water sports, uh, yeah, water sports. Um... You know, like maybe they love the sea or they love to go to the beach or the sea and they kind of have that look, maybe, the olive skin, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and well, with this card, what can we say um, with the fox, yeah, that they might be very light-footed, light-footed or basically not very big not very big maybe on a smaller side like their whole frame is a little bit on a smaller side so so yeah sometimes you can talk about the red hair red hair yeah olive skin red hair perfect so yeah i don't know they dye their hair or it doesn't have to be that maybe they wear a sun hat with fox written on it or something so it can be that 
Now this is the first impression. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty f like a friend more. Like you, you want to go out and play games with him, like play football or something. So or do exercise maybe. Yeah, that sort of thing. Like friendly guy. Um, now let's talk about his face more. Uh, so here. Um, Here we have a pretty distinct device, shiny eyes, and um, I'm not sure, maybe his, he has a beard also, but it's kind of young guy, young guy, or beautiful hair, something about the hair, um, like colored hair maybe, like red hair, so, but something puffy, you know, hair puffy, so I don't know if it's a beard or it's a hairstyle that has like a puff or something. And it's talking about the hair maybe longish, you know, hair. And colors are their colors, so maybe it's talking about the red hair. Many color and he has very, very attractive eyes. Like, you look at the, into the eyes and you, I don't know, you travel, astral travel somewhere. So... They are very deep, they are very shiny, and they are very distinctive. Now l let's look about more about his overall body, I think. The body shape and the, perhaps the feel that they have. Yeah, so this is... I think they have innocence, they have innocence in them, they are maybe younger than older and uh, again they might be spiritual person with a moon card and with a s incense or spirit card, yeah. Again the red hair is coming up, maybe brown hair. Um, And I feel like a, a little bit of a dreamy type, maybe immature a little bit, like uh, they have these unrealistic dreams and they just like to be in their world. Maybe they write some poetry or songs or something like that. So that sort of thing about their maybe personality. So yeah. So I don't know if this is enough. Um, of course it's not, I guess. But, but okay. What else can we ask about his appearance? And how will he see you? Let's ask, how will he see you? How, what do he, will he think about your appearance? Mm -hmm. Well, he also... No, not also, but he'll also see something with the sea, with the oceans, with water. Now, definitely you will be, I think, long, long and slim or something, or at least very, very fashionable, very modern. There's this new feel to you, new feel, moving, always on the go, on the run. But we're talking about appearance, so it can be that you will have double shaded hair, like highlights or something two colored, double colored, multicolored, and uh, I feel like length, you know, length in you. I don't know, either your legs are tall, uh, long, or you're very long, or you just have that feel very slim and um, a little frail, that sort of thing. A little bit of a fashionable person, someone who likes dress to dress up. And I think foreigner, they might see you as a foreigner as well. Like you're different, you're exotic. With these cards. 
And it's all the three cards talk about the movement, the travel. So they might see you as actually dressed up as a tourist. Yeah. Uh, dressed up in traveling clothes. And uh, maybe that means that you will meet in a place where you will travel. And, uh, and yeah, I feel like they see you as someone very beautiful, actually. Very feminine. And in that very delicate way you know delicate way not like sexy feminine like curvaceous but in a very delicate uh, very cute uh, delicate I don't know like a porcelain doll type of way um, and they're kind of you're very light you're very light and I think the uh, just feel that lightness you're like a wind you come and go you're maybe a dancer like a ballet dancer. Now I'm hearing that song. She's like a she's like a wind. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, that sort of thing here with these cards. Probably I'll do another video on on personality. What he, will he think of your personality and things like that? Or we can do more on this also, but it's gonna be too long if I do it now. Here. So, okay, let's move on to the deck number two. I think it's pretty good here. Okay, deck number two. Those who chose this deck. The question is, what's his physical appearance like? Uh, your future husband, boyfriend, or soulmate? And three bonus cards to ask... How will they see you when you meet? How will they see your parents? Okay, that's him, that's his um, information, let's have a look. Again the fox. Okay, so what is the first impression that he will make to you? And I get he will make the impression on you like, um, like a working guy, like a labor guy, or like a mechanic or something. Someone who's in a uniform, who comes to your house to fix some mechanical stuff. Um, maybe they bring a receipt or some document to say that I have to fix your something in the house, like some construction or something like the other working worker, the, you know, the, some guy who does the work, you know, like builder or mechanic or something like that. And I feel this super formal, super for formal look. The person works, does his job, maybe he wears some sort of uniform, like a red, um, like a costume with, <clears throat> I don't know who wears red costumes, but in your country, in your place, they might, you know, wear the costume and they might come, these are tools, this is your house, and they might bring this letter with themselves, like, uh, like, you invited them, you called them, and this is a document that they're doing. Even if it's not, uh, let's say, a working guy with a uniform, then I still feel some sort of working connection, and the first impression they make on you is like there's someone like for work, you don't even pay attention to them that much. Like they're wearing a cap, they're not even visible, you're just doing the documents, you're just talking with them about stuff that they have to do, and there's some sort of uh, hurry and everything. 
Maybe they fix the door. Uh, like the door or the lock. The lock got blocked and they're coming to break it. Well, something like that. So, yeah, they might be doing this as a work, as a job. Okay, so what about their face? Let's look at their face. Well, it's a well, it's a young face. They they look like young, you know, with a child card, like a like a child or younger than you or youthful appearance. Basically, maybe they're smaller, uh, not like, but this is also showing, um, you know, the the tower card. So they might have like green eyes, they might have a cute face, very likable. But I don't know about the tower, maybe there's some wall on their face, like they're wearing a mask, like they're pretending that they're very professional or something. So there is some sort of, they hiding their immaturity, trying to pretend serious. So, what else? So just because the, the girl is with the blonde hair, now I keep thinking the, the guy is going to be with the blonde hair as well. And... Um, and light colors like green eyes or something and yeah the guy might be tall also I said small and then I said tall yeah so maybe they're young but tall or the baby face and they're tall and what about their overall personality? They're very pleasant, they're very happy, smiling, you know, uh, very loving, like perfect. They give a good vibe, like a loving vibe. What can I say? Very pleasant meeting, very pleasant impression. After talking to them, perhaps. Basically, you fall in love with them from the first sight. You fall in love with them. They're personality it makes you happy with these cards this is just so happy these three very very happy now I don't know why they show these like formal maybe they come as a for work and then you meet them and then they remove their mask and they were a nice person so how do they see you how will they see you your appearance, exactly, your appearance. Nothing else but your appearance. Beer, lilies, and cross. Wow. They see you like a mama beer. They'll see you as a little heavier. They might see you as uh, older. And they might see you as a little sad. You know, like worried or like tired or like a little heavy. Heavy, heavy emotion. I think they might see as mature. As mature, but uh, they respect you, they love you. Um, by mature, I mean because they're like a child, you know. We, we saw them like a child. And they see already Lilies is really old. Well, I'm so sorry for saying that. It's not really old, but let's say I am 34. And Lilies would come to me, you know, this card would come to me, like, already midlife crisis types of things. Yeah, so, um, maybe married, maybe with a family, maybe above 30, or 40, or 45, or 50, you know, that sort of thing. Um, maybe family person. And, uh, well, for some people it can be religious, for some people it can be like a very respectful, respected, respected person who um, is very like a motherly figure. And it's some cleanness, like very clean and very like pure and... Um, that sort of thing, and maybe house is all white, 
maybe you're wearing something white and you look, you give out that vibe very white and clean and pure and mature and respectable and uh, older than me and but a little bit sad they notice that you're a little bit sad they find sadness in your face they see sadness in your eyes and uh, and I think they might ask something like, why are you so sad, you know? Is there something bothering you? That sort of thing. So, yeah. So that's a very short interpretation. Um, I'll try to expand on this in the next video about your appearance. So, uh, well, I'm sorry if I called you old because I'm also old basically so <clears throat> but it's a good old it's beautiful old it's very nice it's not all this mature sorry so um, yeah it's actually mature and um, interesting So yeah, let's look at the deck number three. This is deck number three and I want to ask about the physical appearance of your future husband, boyfriend or soulmate. Someone out there that you're expecting. physical appearance of your future husband or boyfriend one two okay let's have a look Wow. I feel like a few secret crush here will be or someone so First of all, I'm going to just... So this person... How will he look? He will look, again, like very studious, educated, um, well-dressed, uh, very um, important person. Like a teacher or like professor or something. And basically... Uh, I feel like he'll be a crush. He'll be a crush. You love him. You love him, and um, it can be that you'll secretly love him. There's some sort of intensity and inner passion with him. Intensity and inner passion, yeah, with this person. Um. How will they look? Well, I get that they will look well manly, they will look manly, they look very basic in a way, like you feel that the person is educated, like he's around the books, he likes to be around the books, maybe his accountant or something, because it's also like work and books and things like that. I know something red, what, uh, what red is going to be there, like red t-shirt or red car that they have or uh, something red, basically. Red cheeks, red lips, I'm not sure. But the person might be also very likable, very... Um, um, like, if you like loving them. What else can we see? I feel he'll just look like a working man. And he look like a man. 
that's all and there will be a red color somewhere uh, very distinctive and you will not be able to miss it you will not be able to miss it you know some of the, something that you will have, something that you will wear it's gonna be just plain red and he, he will be very important he will do either important job or important for you but like he has a very subtle position, you know, very important person mm, okay, so I'm not getting anything right now from here let's move on to his face Again, he will face the body also. He might be a little, uh, well, quite tall. He might have this graying hair or something. And again, beautiful eyes. He might have special something special about their eyes. But I feel they are more like older. Did I say younger before? I think he might be a little older, like... I don't know, from not 20s, not 20s. Like, well, I would say 35 to 60 or something like that. You know, where already people get gray hair in their beards and in their hair lines and everywhere. So that sort of thing. And when you look at them, they're kind of gray. They look gray. Um gray a little dull <laughs> a little dull well they have something red with them but it, it may be a car or something unrelated to their body so maybe they wear gray uh, suit as well but overall they have pleasant eyes very attractive eyes but overall they might be that sort of that age you know where the hair is green and they lose a color in their skin also and they become a little um, you know, great, <laughs> I will say. Um, yeah. So let's have a look at their, at the feel that they will give you. Again, they are like on the move always. They're on the move. They, uh, maybe they travel a lot like in a car or or somewhere like always stressed out always on a on a rush in a rush in a hurry um like this happened this happened i have to go there i have to go there you know i have to travel there there and they always kind of traveling you know so they kind of passing by you have the sense of them passing by and um they kind of not staying with you you know that sort of feeling Maybe they have that sort of work where they have, uh, where they are very busy and very uh, hardworking, and they have to be on time, you know, places because stress is there, and it can be hard work as well. Yes, yeah, so I think it's a working man, super working man who you love or who has I don't know something red. But they are older and uh, they have gray hair, quite tall but have pretty pretty eyes, attractive eyes and they are always on the move. Now let's see how this man will look at you, how will they see your appearance, how will they see your appearance. That's interesting. <clears throat> very cold. It's like very weird, like they don't see you. You will see your parents. I know, so I'm feeling like this very, very cold, like iron, like iron cold, like mountain stone and iron like and like maybe you do something very manly like a job or something like you wear lots of metal or you work with metal a lot like very 
supermanly job or something and they might see you as someone who does it perhaps You know, we basically means sexy, attractive. The mountain can be that the person is a little big, uh, that sort of thing. And this can mean the person is... Um, I think he likes to sit a lot somehow. He likes to sit, be in one place a lot. But I also feel this, uh, just I can't help it, just iron and stone. And I feel they associate you with, um, with lots of metal, with lots of iron. I don't know if you wear like metal rings, metal earrings, like silver everywhere, something like that. And there is this... Going from you. Very manly job or something, I'm just pulling more. These cards are like, they don't know you, you're not there, something like that, even these. How do they feel like they don't see you? In these cards, they don't see you. <clears throat> Let's see, so how, when they saw you, how did they see your appearance? Or when they will see you? I'm asking with these cards, maybe these are not listening because yeah, so how will they see you? Your parents. Again I'm getting man. They see you as a man. Maybe you're a man who is asking this question. So it could be that they seeing you as a man, super manly man, uh hundred percent man. And, uh, yeah, you're very strong, you're very big, you're very attractive, you're very, um, you know, like working with metal, maybe with some hammer, like sculpture or something, banging the stone or iron sculptures, you know, who, uh, people who make sculptures from iron. And uh, I feel I can hear that sound of hammer, iron hammer, hammering an iron sculpture or stone or something like that. And there's this sound and repeatedly going boom, boom, you know, and and maybe it's some sort of geological thing. Maybe we're talking about a uh, homosexual relationship here because this card can mean by uh, homosexual yeah this card can talk about a person being black or having black color in them so it might be that that's how they see you, yeah? And uh, I'm sorry if you're a lady. And uh, this may be a message to someone who is a man. Or maybe it makes sense, maybe do sculptures or excavation sites or something like that. Very manly, you know? Maybe they feel you're so much around man that your energy becomes like man also, you know. You take that energy with you. And it basically... That sort of thing. Okay, let's have a look at the deck number four. Uh, the question is the same. How, did they, how do they see your... How will your future husband or partner or soulmate will see your appearance?
how not your appearance how will they look like yeah but first of all we have to ask that how will they look like again for me it's like travel 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 foreign countries and uh, they are this beer person I think they're gonna be a bit on a heavier side can be older also older person or bulkier person and they have this feel of power and uh, that they you know that superiority let's see they can be looking like a foreigner again again they might be just living in internationally from one country to another and they again always on the move they might wear appropriate clothes uh, you know for the people who travel and uh, they might look at, at somehow as a tourist again And yes, a foreigner. I think they are also a foreigner. <clears throat> now, let's look at their more like a face. So, I think the face, uh, they might have something cute about themselves. In every single reading, I have the Tower card. But either the face is serious, not smiling, like they have a mask like a um, corporate some business type of face um, yeah they might be wise like wise looking person older person um, and also something about the hair maybe they'll have blonde hair because yeah And of course, a child can mean well, maybe young face, all the older, but the young face, uh, well, um, the face that looks good, you know. Or maybe the person's personality is very responsible, like they have some sort of job or something very responsible, like a business or even government. So they basically you have you feel that authority from them, that leadership qualities, etc. And but the face might be again cute, cute face. I don't know or baby face, whatever is considered cute in in your country. So. Um, and I'm not sure about the tower, they can be tall or it can be that their face is gonna be serious and they're gonna wear a mask, some sort of mask. Not smile, straight face. Okay, and uh, looking at their personality, so they are super romantic, they are like crazy romantic. You feel romantic with them, you feel in love with them, there is a connection uh, between you. And I think it's not you're not hiding it, this, this one is um, known, basically. Like there is this very big connection between you, like very nice, the perfect basically connection. Poetic, romantic, deep, spiritual, psychic, telepathic, etc., etc., can be more than just love. Can be have a relationship that is, we can basically talk telepathically, things like that. So, how do they see your appearance as person? Oh, it's just sexy, sexy, and um, and sexy. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, that's the basic thing that they basically see in you, attractive, 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 and uh, perfect and um, I feel also gray hair or white or blonde, ash blonde. <clears throat> But there is, 
a big appeal or, or something that this is the main thing that they are actually feeling when they're looking at you and nothing else attractive figure beautiful clothes you know and feminine and all these things And also maybe uh, um, you're able to stay like this for a long time. You know, you, you're not uh, looking like that only on your good days. You basically are like that all your life. <clears throat> you are like that as a person. Like Marilyn Monroe. Or, I don't know, I don't know any other examples. But it's like something like that. Okay. Let's have a look at the last deck now. <clears throat> this is deck number five. Uh, let's have a look about, let's look at their appearance, your future husband, future soulmate, or future partner, whoever, whomever you want to ask about. Okay, so let's look at that person who will look, how will he look like in the future? I feel warm here, warm, <clears throat> very warm person. Um, basically, how will he look? They look like a um, working person who is educated and does their job, like I don't know if there is a word for that. But someone who may carry, um, you know, like a handbag where they put papers and also what's it kind of be average build, average build, not too big, not too small, just average, normal. On a slimmer, smaller side though. basically uh, maybe they have a connection with nature or, or something like that because these two green cards is always like greenery like they do like some sort of gardening or they wear green or the eyes are very green maybe the okay let me just Like maybe they are the person basically who do research somewhere in the nature about uh, nature like some national geographic thing and they go to jungles to work, you know, collect plants or take photos or something like that. Uh, more like walking in the grass and things like that. So it can be their work actually, this thing. And uh, maybe they're into ecological stuff. So maybe they even wear like um, eco ecological clothes, some brown, eco-friendly something, bags or I don't know, things like that. Outdoors person. Maybe also hunting they like, that sort of thing. But also books, like they research on, on the animals and nature. So they look accordingly as a person who does that job. They look accordingly, yeah. Also, let's look at their face more. Okay, I feel they have a great tan. They might be... Either black, either uh, angular, you know, the faces, the face or black hair, very jet black, you know, hair. Um, and 
and uh, yeah, of course uh, something with the legs so basically uh, strong legs healthy legs you know fast athletic also but like a walker who like to walk a lot maybe they wear boots or something like boots so yeah but their face is just that it's dark and uh, might be a little also angular all the snake woman something feminine their face are they a woman? If maybe again bisexual person or homosexual, I don't know. Because these are like very very feminine cards. So um Otherwise, other than that, what else? Something beautiful, of course, about the face. Colors, colors, maybe colorful glasses they wear. Like, that look, like, out of place a little bit, compared to they're all, like, very, you know, same appearance, and suddenly the glasses come out and they stand out, kind of. It can be that. Okay, and... What feel will they give you? Like work, work feel. This person is very serious about their career. This person is very, very serious. Um, their, their job is their life, basically. Their job is their life, their career is their life. And I feel that that's the main thing in their life. Also, they might be divorced, um, you know, or something like that, like previously divorced. Yeah, so there is some sort of like loner, lon loner feel. Like uh, they... They have a either compromised relationship or they they dedicate all their life to work and that's why the relationship is a little bit like this, <laughs> you know. Maybe they have uh, a boss who's a very interesting influence um, against them, you know, for them, like an older man who is a little bit of a um influ influences them to stay alone and to do what they're doing you know okay let's have a look at uh, how will they see you how will they see you they see they'll see you as your wife as uh, I'm sorry they'll see you as their wife Family card, family card, children. So, someone who sits at home take, takes care, uh, take cares of the kids, and uh, who's traditional more or less. That sort of thing, you know. That she's set, she's safe with family at home, with you know relatives, friends, whatever, and with kids, and she's doing her job, and but that sort of thing, you know, only. There is attraction also, there is attraction, I would say, but it's more like all people, home and uh, traditional type of a little bit environment, safe environment. So, I think this year as a housewife and uh, I like busy with kids, busy with the housework or something. Maybe that means that you'll be married to this person. <laughs> Good news. 
and uh, it's very weird reading I'm, I'm not sure I'm getting this picture of this person like not easy because of the ecological part and this female cards just jumping out and they're like very lonely and doing their thing on their own I don't know like introverted or somewhere far away from the house maybe working somewhere and maybe some army but this is nature so it cannot be so uh, I don't know if you have an idea what that can mean that can mean please share in the comments thank you for watching this video and I hope you had a great time and good night hope to see you tomorrow bye bye